hello guys welcome to another video in this react series in this video we are going to learn how to set up the data table by installing the necessary packages then we'll add one data table with data in our application let's open the code editor to begin with the coding here let me create one separate folder for this example and i will name this one as react data table and within this one let me create a component by name table example dot js once we have our component the first step for creating a interactive data table is we need to install react data table for that react data table we need to install two components one is react data table component itself and another dependency which we have here is styled components so let's install both dependencies for that one let me open the terminal the first dependency which we are going to install is styled components for that one type npm install space styled hyphen components once installation of styled component is completed let's install react data table component for that one write npm install react hyphen data hyphen table hyphen component then press enter which will install the necessary packages for our react data table component great now we have both the dependencies or packages installed for our application so as we have a dedicated component for this application or this example the first step we need to do here is we need to import the required modules so add those two modules at the top the first one is I am going to import react that's the basic necessity for react application then as we are using data table here I am going to import that one as well next let's define the columns for our table here you can observe each column has a name a data selector and the property whether it can be sortable true or false so now we are done with defining columns that is nothing but titles or those attributes for our columns here the next step is we need to populate some of the data here so that that can be shown in our data table for that one let me copy some data here here i have added few data and i have stored that one in a variable by name data and you can observe here each row item which we are adding here that has the same column names which we have defined it here so that that will be mapped or interlinked together so whatever the data which we are defining it here in the id that will be linked to our id column and similarly name will be linked to name column and age will be linked to age column with our columns and data ready it's now time to create the table for that one let's create a functional component I will create a functional component by name table example and here we are using arrow function let me store this one in constant table example so that's we are done with defining the functional component here and within this one we need to have a return statement for that one let me add a return statement which will have a react fragment open and close empty jsx element and finally we need to export this one so that we can use it in other components such as main component that is app.js the final thing we here we need to do is we need to define the data table as we have installed react data table we have a dedicated tag for this data table that is data table we can make use of this tag and define additional properties based on our requirements the basic properties which we need to define it here is the columns which we need to define as here we have already defined some columns here so let me copy that one and mention it here similarly the next property which we need to define it here is data so as we are defined some dummy data here let me copy that one and paste it here along with the basic properties which we have defined we can add some more features or props here the first additional feature which i am going to add it here is pagination so this pagination props will add pagination feature to our data table next we will add another property highlight on hover 
this will gives us feature of highlighting whenever we mouse over on row item then we'll add another property responsive which will makes our data table responsive so that whenever we see this data table in different resolutions it will fit to that particular resolutions then another important feature which i want to add it here is pagination per page this will define the number of row items which we need to define or show it in our data table for this example i will add it as 7 then the final property which i want to add it here is pagination rows per page options this will give a drop down to the users so that users can select the number of items to be displayed on the page or in the data table based on their requirement if they choose 10 10 row items will be shown at a time in the data table similarly if they choose 20 20 items will be shown at a time once we are done with defining all these properties and adding data table let's add this component in our main file or component that is app.js file so here first we need to import the component from this path then add this one in our return jsx element for that one within an open close bracket mention this once we are done with these steps save all the files and run the application by using npm start and you can observe here we can see seven row items in our application data table as here we have defined pagination per page is 7 and you can also observe some of the default properties of this table user can sort this one in ascending or descending order as well and there is a default pagination options as well provided by the data table and as we have provided a option for the users where users can select the page numbers by themselves so that based on the requirement they can change this rows per page option as well and here you might have observed that one feature is missing in this data table that is search search is nothing but a global search which will gives us a filtered value from this set of values this is a very useful feature when there are a lot of data present in this table so let's see in our next video how we can add a global search to this data table thanks guys for watching this video if you like this please click on like button share it with others and subscribe to my channel